just quick introduction. If you're new here, my name's Lee Milligan Hubbard. My brother is Top Fuel driver Clay Milligan. I try to go to the races, do live feeds, cover the recaps for the No Prep Kings and NHRA, and just want to give you a real quick rundown of what I used to do before I did that. So I figured since we just got my car out of the trailer to put in my husband's shop, which is a mess, and I know it, but he has lots of stuff and it's his shop and this is just where my car sits so i'm definitely not complaining i want to go over just what i used to drive before our track shut down and just give you a little insight about my car and i've had a few people ask so here we are all right this is my 2009 it's an m&m dragster um, our friends danny joe justin and jansen melton built it and build these cars in gleason tennessee We've had, I don't even know how many cars they've built for my husband, but it's been a lot. But this one is my main, my main car. It's my, I've raced a couple other cars in my career, my little short career. I think I started running when I was, I think it was 2013. I always have been in racing. You know, my brother raced. Um, then I married a racer. So in 2013, we decided I would drive. So I got into this car this car was my husband's at the time and so it has this one it's had a few motors in it but this one right now has a all aluminum donovan 540 it has a west may 1050 carburetor i don't you ain't gonna be able to see that too much it runs on alcohol um he winterizes it you can see it doesn't have any spark plugs He'll drain the fuel, lubricate it with fog it, the lubricate the cylinders, um, carburetor, and fuel pump. He'll, you know, get it ready to set for the winter. Usually we get it back going once the track starts opening back up. Of course, our track, we lost our track in Memphis. Um, I think it's been, I think it's going on two years now. Uh, it has a power glide in it. Um, runs, we got Hoosiers. Uh, double B blocks. Let's see. The Go Lithium battery, the 16 volt. They came on board with us at the very beginning. Um, well, I mean, at the very beginning of when they started, they were probably the first company to come on board to help us, and I never forgot it. And we still keep it charged. Um, we charge it every so often just to keep the cells balanced. And you see we got the front tires up on a block just to kind of keep the weight off the tire since it's just sitting. We did on the inside. So this seat, of course, the lighting, lighting makes it look a mess. But you see how thick it is because I'm five foot tall. My husband's six foot tall. So when I took over the driving, we had to, Clay and Cliff, but Cliff's my husband, pour the seat and it's butler butler built and once i got that poured i felt so much more at home it was unbelievable we got double adjustable shocks Let's see if i can see shocks like i say he does all everything on here he does it um that that number right there is an ihra number we had to get a number to run for the championship. Um, that's in memory of my nephew, Clay's son, Dalton, that we lost. D for Dalton, X, you have to have an X for IHR, and 25. You know, the 25 is very important to my family, and you'll see that a lot on this car. And let's see, what else? The Butler built seat, I went over that Pro One seat belts. I think one other thing on the outside of it is, like I said, I'm five foot tall, short people problems. See that little bar sticking out? See if I can get, make it come out while y'all are. Got a little peg there that comes out that my husband put under the frame to stick out so I can get in. And I'm gonna get in and show you what, what I got going on on the inside. All right, so got these little handy dandy handles right here. It helps you get in and out. This makes it so much nicer. Man, I ain't been in here in a minute. Uh, these buttons, let's see. Really, I'm only gonna just tell you about two of them. And that's this one. That is 
the starting line enhancer sle which is you can use it for a burnout button but i don't know if you remember when i told you back when my husband talked about me <laughs> for being a racer and still using the burnout button so you usually would just hold this button down and do your burnout and that way it, it prevents it from hitting the rev limiter um once he talked about me i was like you know what you're right i don't need no burnout button so i don't use it no more all right i forgot to tell you i got an onboard air compressor system too i just turned the power on for the first time and it had to air itself up and oh, it was loud anyway so i got the power on um this on my delay box obviously i ran 484 the last time i ran this car and that's you would normally put no so that's my dial in and you would normally put their dial in but if they are the faster car you just put your own dial in because you're going to be leaving first so went 484 and then that's what you put in the box for what it's going to leave off the tree on this button i was telling you was the burnout button but it is also a sle which is a starting line enhancer which means when i pre-stage when i look over to my opponent and it looks like he's getting ready he goes he's pre-staged he looks like he's bumping in i go ahead i hit this button that button will allow me to push my gas pedal foot to all the way to the floor it will raise the rpms up just a little bit at whatever the rpms that my husband has it set at just enough to where i can use my brake pedal foot to bump myself in to the stage light. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this power off. Once I am staged, I will get on this button. The top yellow comes on, I let off. That counts down to whatever we have it set at and my car leaves. So basically that's, and you just pray for a triple zero or at least a double O something. And that's it we make the run I'll, it shows the rpm um, i know it shows my transmission temperature I, it's been so long since we ran this car but like I say that's i have a handbrake over here i never I, I say i never i use my handbrake when i cross the finish line and at memphis you really didn't need to but i just got in the habit to where i would pump my handbrake and my foot brake all at the same time um if I drove the finish line, like when you're bracket racing, I know if you are a bracket racer, you already know all this crap, but if you're not a bracket racer, you want to barely take the opponent across the finish line, the less margin as possible. Um, so if it looks like you're not gonna make it, like you're not gonna get in front of the opponent, you wanna stay back behind him so that you don't break out and hope that he does break out or if you're way ahead you either want to walk the gas a couple times just to get rid of some numbers to kind of back up to him to go in front of him across the line as close as possible or you want to hit the brakes which i you know if i used the brakes at the finish line i would not let off my gas and slam on the brakes that was not my style of driving i would keep my foot on the gas and you know use my brake pedal just to kind of bog it down a little bit of course i was no expert at it i, I mean you know i did all right but anywho that is the tour of the m m dragster all right guys i appreciate you guys watching like and subscribing i'll be back next weekend for nhra they are in seattle um don't forget about my link down below in the description for the sick the magazine they got cool stuff Clay got new shirts out. Go check those out. My link will be down there. It's my ambassador link. Um, that'll just show that I sent you. I appreciate it. And leave me a comment because you know I love them.
Buddy, 006, and a thou under. Leah, 10, and six, or 16, thou under.